Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Kalen DeBoer and this Alabama program rolling on the recruiting trail, landing another commitment in the 2025 class. This one coming from athlete Zymir Smith from the state of Maryland now. Not a recruiting ranking according to 24-7 sports, but this is a guy that you check some other recruiting services. ESPN has him as a top 150 national prospect and has offers from Tennessee, from Texas, from Georgia. Now, a special athlete that has, quite frankly, incredible movement skills that we're going to see on the film in just a little bit. Alabama sees him as a defensive back, and I could not agree more. You see some film of him working at the defensive back position at high school. Incredible range, incredible short area quickness, has the ideal length that you want in a cornerback at the next level. I think this is a really sneaky good get by Alabama and the staff. Want to talk about what Zamir Smith brings to the table for Alabama on the defensive side of the football, and then have a little bit of a conversation on where Alabama is going next in this 2025 class, hosting a ton of top targets this weekend in Tuscaloosa. Before we get into it, as always, just want to say thank you to you guys and a shout out to the Alabama fans. We talked Antonio Coleman committing to Alabama yesterday or last weekend, I should say, cannot thank you guys enough for rocking with the boys. You guys know that this is one of my favorite aspects to talk football in terms of the recruiting trail. You guys and all the support, that means the world. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll continue to keep you guys as updated as possible with what Alabama is doing on the recruiting trail. And without further ado, let's get into Zymir Smith and a guy that you're going to see him have a recruiting ranking according to 24-7 Sports relatively soon. You're talking about a guy that six foot, 170 pounds, a wiry frame that no doubt will fill out as he gets to the college football level. But what you can't really teach with Zymir Smith is the special movement skills that you have. And when you check out the film, you see the movement skills on full display in a lot of different ways. And right, you kind of, when I watch the film, Kind of reminds you of a couple other cornerbacks that Alabama has taken over the last couple of years, right? Go back to Kool-Aid McKinstry coming out of high school, a guy that played both ways, played in the special teams department, and he slotted in at that cornerback role, obviously was very good for Alabama. I think the thing you talked about with Kool-Aid McKinstry was how special of a mover that he was, right? In terms of mirroring wide receivers, in terms of running with wide receivers down the field. Then you take a look at Jalen Mabakwe. Five-star coming in in that 2024 class, another guy with a special set of movement skills. You see the same thing with Zymir, with Zymir Smith on the film, right? You fire this up, you see him taking some reps at running back. You'll see him work as a running back, as a running back, as a cornerback, as a wide receiver. You see the short area quickness. You see how fluid he is as a mover. And that's the first thing that stands out. We all know at that cornerback spot, Yes, you got to have good technique, but most of all, you have to have the athleticism to match up with the elite athletes at the wide receiver position. You see Zymir Smith have just all the movement skills and the athleticism that you want. And then you see him working as a defensive back. You see the range. You see the ball skills that he has. And this is why I'm such a big fan of Zymir Smith fitting in in that defensive back room, reading the cornerback's eyes, coming out of playing that center field safety role really, really clean ball skills. You see the length in the arms, the wingspan that he has. He looks very comfortable as a defensive back at the high school level. Again, playing that center field safety position, reading the quarterback size. When that football is in the air, the range, the athleticism, the frame to go up, make a play on the football. Again, on the return, you see the special set of movement skills that he has. Again, I, I know it's kind of a lofty expectation to comp him to Kool-Aid McKinstry, but that's kind of what you see on the film, right? Breaking down Kool-Aid McKinstry coming out of high school. This was a guy that was just the most athletic guy on the football field. You get the similar vibe from someone like Zymir Smith too. You see the ball skills as a wide receiver. You see the ability to work after the catch. This is a guy that not only probably going to factor in in the return game, but I think has a ton of potential to be a really good defensive back at the college football level as well. You see the long speed. You see the ability to change direction. Everything that you want in a defensive back, Zymir Smith has. And I'm really interested to see what the progression looks like for someone like Zymir Smith, who, again, played all over the football field at the high school level. 
really, really exciting prospect. And I think what's most exciting for Alabama fans is that the big question was when Kalen DeBoer took this job, not the question wasn't, is Kalen DeBoer a good football coach? We saw that at Washington. We saw that at Fresno State. He has a long track record of getting the best out of the talent that he has. The question was, can he get it done on the recruiting trail? And you're seeing a lot of top prospects really be interested in Alabama, right? They are hosting Julian Lewis this weekend as well. One of the best quarterbacks in that 2025 class was the number one recruit in the country in 2026, reclassified. Now, Julian Lewis is committed to USC as of right now, but I think we all know that commitment is not necessarily very strong. One, he plays on the other end of the country than USC. Number two, USC obviously struggled in 2023. And I think most importantly, from Kalen DeBoer, what he did with Michael Penix, what that offense was for the Washington Huskies, that has to be extremely appealing to a player like Julian Lewis, who, for my money, is one of the most accurate passers in this 2025 class. I would, if I'm an Alabama fan, keep my eyes on Julian Lewis, who I think sounds like probably the top target for Alabama at that quarterback position. Another player that I want to talk about who was previously committed to Alabama, and you've seen Kalen DeBoer do this, right? Ryan Williams was committed to Alabama, backs off his commitment when Nick Saban retires, goes back to Alabama with Kalen DeBoer. Zion Grady, this is a guy that I think is one of the more juiced up edge rushers that you'll see in this 2025 class. You'll see him play a little off ball linebacker. You'll see him rush from the edge. You talk about physical, <laughs> physical traits with Zion Grady, he's dripping with them. And I think this would be another massive get for Kalen DeBoer. Again, our concern was what he can do recruiting in the southeastern United States. We are starting to see, based on what these high school kids are, where they're visiting, that Alabama, I mean, still swinging a very big sword on the recruiting trail. I think what excites Alabama fans the most about Kalen DeBoer is if he can maintain the level of recruiting that you saw Nick Saban, if he can even come close to maintaining the level of recruiting that you saw Nick Saban have, this is the most talented roster that Kalen DeBoer is ever going to have coached with. And this is a guy that has maximized the talent at every stop that he's made as a college football coach. What's it look like if the talent level does not drop off for Alabama and Kalen DeBoer has the opportunity to work with all the talent that Nick Saban has been able to work with over the last decade at Alabama? That's an extremely exciting proposition for Alabama fans. Another massive commitment for Zymeer Smith or for Alabama from Zymir Smith. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys again. We'll continue to keep you guys as updated as possible with what Alabama is doing on the recruiting trail. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later.